Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will talk about Delta MS300 Inverter Multi-Speed Control by Digital Input and the built-in PLC function. You can see the inquiry we will use uh, for different uh, DI uh, to achieve uh, inverter running forward reverse uh, and uh, high low uh, speed. Uh, the uh, frequency here just for uh, example you can uh, change to different one. Today's uh, topics I will show you two methods to achieve this. First one is use a multi-speed uh, digital input. For the inverter we need to use a MI1 to uh, MI6 and for MI1 we will uh, define as a forward MI2 defined in reverse. However, in POC, we just need a full digital input. Here are parameters uh, to uh, implement uh, today's uh, topic. So you can see for the uh, main frequency, we use uh, three uh, means uh, external uh, terminal. And uh, this one is a wrong uh, stop control by also uh, external uh, terminal. Uh, then for uh, 0 to uh, double O. This one is uh, for the wiring method. So for the uh, default setting, MI1 means a uh, forward, MI2 means a uh, reverse. And then uh, we will define MI3 as a multi uh, speed command one, etc. Then we can define the uh, different uh, speed over here. So you can see when uh, MI1 on, that means uh, we define the first uh, step of uh, frequency in uh, 0, 4, uh, double O. And then here is uh, for the uh, MI2. Then uh, we are relative with uh, uh, 0, 4, 0, 1. And then would be the third uh, MI3 and the MI1. So this one will map to uh, 0, 4, 0, 4. The uh, final one would be uh, MI2 uh, plus uh, MI4. So this one will map to 0409. Okay. Uh, then we can switch to the software. So uh, this one is for our uh, DI designer. So we have to select the uh, correct uh, zero ports. Then uh, we click to uh, start detect. After that, we can create and add, add the device and create a new project. Okay, so here you can see uh, we have to select here first. So we can uh, disconnect first, then here we can click uh, enable this function. Uh, but because now we did not uh, enable a PLC function, so it will show uh, this information. Okay, so here we can uh, Modify the parameter first. So if you still remember, uh, we have to modify this one to three and this one to one and write. And then would be, uh, okay, sorry. For here is all in the default value. As you can see right here. And next would be the frequency uh, in a uh, default group, 0, 4 group. So this one will define uh, 5 hertz, 5 hertz. And next would be uh, 0, 4, 0, 4 and 0, 4, 0, 9. This one we define in uh, 30 hertz. Okay, uh, next step is uh, we can uh, check the com uh, trace commissioning tool. So here we can monitor the frequency and we might change this one to multi uh, steps speed. Okay, and we can run the scope online. Then uh, run. Okay, so we will connect the uh, uh, forward first. 
And if we uh, change this one to MI2, so you will see uh, the indicator here will change to reverse. And first, we will go connect to MI1. So this means uh, running forward. So next, we will connect to MI3. So once we connect to MI3, we will see the frequency will be 5 Hz, and then we connect to MI5. So this one will keep forward, but the um, frequency change to uh, 30 Hz. OK, so next uh, we can uh, remove the uh, MI1, and then we put uh, under MI2. And then we connect to MI2. So you can see this one would run under a uh, reverse direction. Then we uh, remove the, sorry. Now we connect the signal to MI4, means uh, 5 Hz. Next, we connect to MI6. So you will see now a frequency becomes 30 Hz. And then we can uh, stop the scope. So from here, you can see the frequency command and the uh, output of frequency and the uh, multi-speed uh, information. The final uh, and the final one will be a uh, DC bus. And we can move this cursor uh, to check the value. Okay, so this is the first portion for uh, digital input uh, control. Uh, next, we will show you a uh, control by a uh, POC. So uh, we can back to the software and then add on the program. Uh, here we can add a new program uh, because uh, here we support only later. So we click this one. For the PFC control, basically, as I mentioned at the beginning, we will use only for uh, digital inputs. So here is the uh, relevant uh, devices that we will use in the program. So first one is a uh, uh, spatial register M or one o two five and uh, one o four o. So this one is to control the uh, inverter run and stop. Uh, this one basically defined uh, control by one o two five. Uh, but once we want to use this function, we have to uh, enable uh, 1040. Then uh, 1026 is for the direction control. And uh, X0 means MI1. This is for forward 5 Hz. And uh, X1 is for uh, reverse 5 Hz. So basically, here you can see uh, for the X0, X2, uh, this one is for forward. So we have to reset the M1026 uh, and for X1 and X3 we'll move in a uh, reverse so we have to uh, output uh, control M1026 then here is the example that we will uh, change uh, different uh, frequency so first is uh, when X0 and the X1 on this would be uh, Output frequency will be 5 Hz, and uh, when X0 plus S2 or S1 plus S3 is on, then will be uh, 30 Hz. Okay, if you still remember, uh, here we have to connect to uh, POC first, so we have to switch the POC mode uh, to 
to PLC1 or PLC2 and then we can uh, connect again so you will see now already uh, successfully connect to PLC next uh, we add on the PLC Okay, so this one is a uh, no matter which uh, input uh, is on, then we will uh, control on and run inverter. And next will be X0. Then we will uh, reset. This uh, sorry. This one is to control the direction in uh, forward and then uh, will be a uh, reverse. Okay, then uh, we finish the program and then uh, click here to download the program. So this takes some time. switch on now you can see here is a one error so we cannot uh, successfully uh, download so we can check here again and click okay so when we uh, switch online and you will see the POC status uh, will remain uh, right that means uh, now the status is a uh, POC 2 so we have to change the status to POC 1 so you will see now it become green and then we can give the signal to uh, MI1 okay so once MI1 on then you can see uh, you will this one will serve on and uh, run and then you also keep in the forward uh, direction uh, here we can change the frequency of 5 hertz so means uh, 500 and then we can uh, check from here so you will see now the frequency is uh, 5 hertz and in wrong status uh, with forward direction now we will give the signal to MI3 
wonder why uh, we give the signal and then uh, become zero okay so we can back to check the program because now the target frequency is uh, zero so we can modify the value over here 30 hertz so we give a uh, 3000 and then we can back to the scope and check again so you can see now it's a uh, 30 hertz and next we will remove the mi1 and mi3 so you will see uh, now it becomes stop but uh, you can see now keep in the forward and now we give a signal to mi2 so you can see uh, become wrong status uh, reverse 5 hertz and then we give the signal mi4 so you can see now switch to uh, 30 hertz uh, so this is the two methods how to achieve uh, this inquiry for MS300 uh, either by PLC or uh, digital input so hope this one can help thank you